You know, city pop is strangely nostalgic music. Well, there are multiple reasons why city pop makes you feel nostalgic, but today I'm gonna reveal the secret, one of the reasons. Actually, tell me your opinion why city pop music sounds nostalgic to you in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get notifications and leave a comment. <laughs> So, do you know a composer called Koji Kondo? He is a Nintendo's most accomplished composer. The famous games that he created music for were Super Mario and Zelda. And there are some similarities between his music and City Pop. So if you played Nintendo games in your childhood, it's no wonder that you feel nostalgic when you listen to City Pop. So let's hear how similar they are. I will explain it with five examples. The first example is Game Over theme in Super Mario World in 1990. And this is basically just 251 in key of F major. Five, six, seven, and right on time. Go, go, And this 251 is basically a foundation of jazz harmony. And city pop harmony comes from jazz, you know? So you hear this 251 progression really a lot in city pop too. So this means the more times Mario dies in front of you, the more familiar you are with city pop. Tell me how you feel about it. But let's move on to the next example anyway. Second example is overworld theme in Super Mario World. And this progression is 1625 in key of F major. I mean, you can check out how often this chord progression is used in City Pop in Massa's tutorial about City Pop chord progressions. I mean, if you like City Pop, probably you should subscribe to his channel. I'm just saying, you know. I mean, his name is Massa and my name is Massa, but it's just a pure coincidence. The more times Mario takes mushrooms and jumping around with this strange green animal, the more familiar you are with City Pop. Understandable. The third example is Great Fairy's Fountain theme in Legend of Zelda and Waterland theme in Super Mario Bros. 3. Let's check them out. You may have noticed, but they are pretty similar to Morning Glory by Tatsuro Yamashita, the king of city pop. Especially if you listen to the background vocals in Morning Glory. The more stuffs you drop in the fountain, the more familiar you are with city pop. Yeah, not bad. And fourth example, Starman theme in Mario, which sounds like Summer Breeze by Piper. It's one of the iconic city pop songs, especially for, you know, summer. So the more times you become a Starman, the more familiar you are with city pop. It sounds cool, you know, I like it. The fifth example is actually not city pop, but it's a song from Japanese fusion band called T-Square. And the name of the song is Sister Mario. Oh no, Sister Marian. So let's check out the song. Well, it's really similar, isn't it? 
But just to be fair, it's an inspiration and not plagiarism. I mean, if you listen to the full versions of these musical pieces, you can hear Koji Kondo's originalities here and there. Okay, so you've heard the resemblance, right? Where do these similarities come from? Of course, Koji Kondo had listened to some city pop songs as he was right in the 70s and 80s. However, I think the main point is that Koji Kondo loves jazzy music. For example, Koji is a big fan of Sadao Watanabe, a Japanese jazz fusion sax player. And the origin of city pop's harmony is jazz, as I said before, such as 251 chord progression. So essentially, both Koji's music and city pop are catchy music based on jazz harmony. And that's why they are similar. Well, anyway, let me introduce you an extra example to finish with. You know, Super Mario's underworld theme. <laughs> I think Koji Kondo got inspired from this song called Let's Not Talk About It by Friendship. It is surprisingly similar, isn't it? Well, but let's not talk about it. Sorry, I just wanted to say this line. <laughs> but anyway, please tell me why you think city pop music makes you feel nostalgic in the comment because I'd like to make other videos like this based on your comments. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get notifications and hit thumbs up. Thank you. My name is Masa. Thank you for watching as always. See you in my other videos.